Welcome to HWM Aston Martin. I've got the pleasure of bringing you today this stunning Vantage GT8. This car was registered in October 2016 and is on a 66 plate and has covered 4,227 miles from new. As you can probably see uh, with GT8, and, and a lot of people do know what GT8 is, it is the, one of the last iterations of the V8 Vantage. And for me personally, is a, the ultimate driving experience that you would get with a Vantage. You know, they're just raw, visceral, lots of noise, and obviously, as you can probably see from the looks, super aggressive to look at as well. So we'll run you through some of the, the, the choices that are on this vehicle. GT8, there were uh, a, a number of choices that you could make on GT8, not just on the outside, but also on the interior, but we will run you through those as we go. So to start off with, this car is finished in Stratus White, which is a metallic uh, white paint. Uh, it's been around with Aston for a little while. It's a really, really cool color. It is a pure white, and as I say, with a metallic fleck. This particular car does have full frontal PPF, so there isn't any sort of stone chips on the front of this vehicle. So if you are looking for something that is, you know, pretty much out the box, this car will suit what you're looking for. So as regard options, what we'll do, we will take you through the side profile of the vehicle first. So the first option that you could have when you were specking your GT8 was, did you want to have exposed carbon lower valances? So that is the lower section, as you can see at the back here, at the back of the vehicle, these side sills, and then moving you through into the front of the vehicle. The choices you could then have were graphics packs, this particular car does not have a graphics pack, but actually I really quite like the fact that it is just finished in a darker color at the bottom with the white at the top. We also have the black window surround. This was a standard feature on uh, GT8. And then we have the glass rear windows. So you could have the choice of glass on the back here and also on the rear window, or you could have a Perspex rear uh, window on GT8. It does sort of, stop a little bit of that exhaust noise coming in but these are incredibly loud in any case we also have the t almost the top choice in the wheels so the only wheel that you could have above this uh, lightweight rim was you could have a center lock but this has the five stud putt five stud pattern on the lightweight wheels we also have the anodized brembo branded brake calipers moving around the front of the car so gt8 they had the black headlamp bezels anyway, just to try and change the look of that vehicle. We also have the mesh in the front here. So there were two choices. You could have a carbon fiber front grille, or you could have the mesh there. This particular car has the mesh, but also, as you can also see from the back and the front, we also have the aero pack on this car as well. So that gave you these extra cornering and splitters on the front here, but also the rear wing on the back of the vehicle. Moving you down the passenger side of the car. There was a few choices that you could have. You could have a carbon fiber on the mirror caps here and also on the door handles. This particular car has the painted. And then as you can see, we've got this wicked carbon fiber rear wing on the back of the vehicle here. There was a few choices that you could have on the back of the vehicle. Firstly, you could have the uh, titanium exhaust, which this vehicle does have. And it, as I say, it does sound superb on startup. We have the exposed carbon fiber rear boot panel. Again, that was an option. Uh, and then we then also have the, the chrome badge detailing on the back with the clear, clear rear lights and then also the carbon lamp infills on the rear of the vehicle. But what we'll do is we'll give you a bit of a spin round and then we'll take you through some of the features on the interior. So moving you on to the interior of this vehicle, this is pretty much what you would see across the board with GT8. We've got the uh, optional carbon fiber lightweight seats and they also are uh, attached to the lightweight package so there is no electric seats on here. They are literally forwards and backwards. There is a little bit of adjustment to the Recaro bases on these. You can lower the seat two inches um, and also you could tilt it back a little bit, but that is about all you're gonna get with this seat. But if you're looking for that raw experience, 
unless you're sort of my size, which is six foot five, um, you, you'll actually find these seats pretty comfortable. Now you can remove the rear panel of the seat here. There are lumbar support pads that you can move around the seat, so you can adjust them a little bit. But as I say, they are a fixed seat in an L shape and they slide backwards and forwards. With the manual cars, you could have the option of having the center cubby hole this particular car doesn't it has the low line which is what most people ordered and um, because you've got the later dashboard here you do have apple carplay or android auto which is plugged in via the center armrest just here we also have polycarbonate switches on this car so no glass buttons but you can add those as an accessory if you wanted to if you purchased the vehicle you can get those from our parts department and have those fitted in the dash and then we then have the gloss black dials on the lovely satin carbon twill dash here. Alcantara steering wheel and then we then also have a manual steering wheel column. So as I say this particular car has got the lightweight package so you don't have any buttons or switches on the side of the steering wheel here for your stereo and CD controls. That would all be controlled through the center dash here. We also have uh, the black Alcantara interior. We do have some leather on the center here with a contrast spicy red stitching. And as you can see, that feeds through onto the carbon fiber door panel here. And you've got the beautiful detailing on these door pulls, which are in obsidian black with a spicy red inner. Moving on to the infotainment of the vehicle, you had two choices of stereo on GT8. This particular car has got the standard audio. You could opt to have a premium audio, but when you've bought that exhaust system realistically that is all you're going to be listening to if you're looking for a visor experience and i mean genuinely the gta as a driver's car because you've got that v8 it's not overpowered you can work the gearbox you can get the most from the vehicle whether you're on a track depending on obviously the noise uh, ratings of that particular track but even if you're doing a bit of fast road driving you can get the most out of one of these and they are super fun to drive one of the best things that might be worth doing is giving you a bit of a shot of that exhaust system. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on this GT8. As I say, it is available on the Timeless Scheme and also on our website, which is hwmastinmartin.co.uk.